floor to Ms Kelly. You have one and a half minutes. In with those who said that the democratic opening did some very good steps forward um, that we haven't seen in some years and that also caused developments where we have thought some years ago that still that it would be impossible. And I'm also joining those who said that it's very important that those democratic openings and reforms go on and are reinforced. And I'm adding also that we have to look at how reforms are actually implemented, not just written down on law paper, but how they're implemented in the field. But since we apparently agree all that it's very good that there are reforms, we also need to support those reforms. And that doesn't go when we just demand we want reforms, but then we say there is still no chance in how Turkey can have an accession, a fair accession process. If we want to have reforms, we need to show that doing reforms will actually lead to some success, that it will lead to a fair accession process with the aim um, of this accession process being accession by its nature. And in this regard, it is highly regrettable that Mr. Zapatero, in the very moment that he took over the presidency, watered down considerably his earlier commitment to a fair accession process. And uh, I think since we have, as a EU, made this commitment, we have to stick to it. We have to be reliable in our foreign policy. So I would like to know whether the representative of the presidency could clarify here and how you, if Zapatero still sticks to his commitment, try to implement it, will try to implement this also in the Council with other members who are rather sceptical. Thank you.